hi guys so i'm going to show you how to create a payment link and you just do that by going to the menu icon or the three dash by the left hand side and you see the payment links here you click on that then you go to create a payment link you're going to see single charge subscription link and donation page the single charges if you want to make um you want the client to make a one-time payment the subscription link is if there is a service you want them to subscribe to a product or something you want them to subscribe to you could go for question um, a subscription link then the donation page mainly ngos make use of these when they're donating to a particular cause or you have a group of friends that want to donate to a particular cause maybe um looking at a project or something you could create a donation page instead but in this case we're going to be creating a single charge and you're going to call your payment link your payment link is the name of the product or the service you're offering so in this case it's a cookbook i want it to be a cookbook um okay let's call it instead a cake book i think that's cool a cake book because it's um creating i want to sell a cake book so then you choose the currency um in this case we're going to go with the naira currency then um you choose the cost is a thousand naira then description um let's go with this learn how to um this book shows a step-by-step -step method of making nice delicacies for your family. That's my description. The description of the product. Okay. On um, show more options. I went for show more options. You could decide to use this or you could decide to forget about that entirely. Then um, for custom URL, um, maybe you want to create a custom URL like um, um, in this case, I would like to call it Kiki Cakebook oh kbk yeah kbk okay the said kbk has been taken so um call it cake cake has been taken as well slash cake has been taken so let's call it kks i think that's available so flutter with slash kks okay then um redirect after payment you could place a link here where you want um this is mainly for after the payment has been made, once the client makes the payment, where what other page do you want to show up? Do you want to stop them there or you want them to go to another page? Maybe your Instagram account where you have your shop. Maybe you want them to reach out to you on WhatsApp. You want to place your WhatsApp link. Whatever you want to place there, you could always do that. But the advice you start with um, Serene. KK is still there. So you just go here. Um, HTTPS htt whatever you're doing just make sure to put your https um yeah um that's if you have a link but it's not compulsory you know so we're going to go with https column so go to column then double slash um let's say cake book that's come oh pardon me that's come then you could decide to collect an extra information um please do well to add the https otherwise it won't work columns double slash and um um i could decide to collect an extra information maybe i want to know the address where my clients are purchasing my product from and i also want to get a phone number so I could reach out to them later on and appreciate them for getting my products and connect with them personally, you know. Um, after this, you could add some more fields if you want to. With that, the link is created. Then you could see I created the cake book. The cookbook was created before now. You could copy the link and um, I would like to open this link in another tab. So let's see what we created actually. So does it cake book created by mentors graphic that was a business name used to re register that then you see this book shows you the step-by-step -step method of making nice delicacies for your family then the first name the last name the email were the faults but we added the address and the phone number and then the amount is fixed so once they make this payment once they click on pay and they make this payment then um, it's going to redirect them to 
the cake dot com uh, yeah the um address url we actually place and it's going to take them to that page after they've made the payment and you see i said if you have any question contact this um email that that's a personal email the business email that was used to create this so um if they have a difficulty trying to make a payment they could always reach out to you via email all right